Hello, my name is Rocket, and welcome back to episode 14 of my CrossCode playthrough. Now, last episode we finished the Temple Mine, and with that, we also got the Heat Element. And now with the Heat Element, today, we're probably gonna finish Bergen Trial. Now, there's awfully, obviously a few areas that we probably still can't go to, but I think at least most of the stuff we can complete now that we have the Heat Element. So we're gonna begin right here on the Hermit's House where we did have a chest, a bronze chest, we could also get, but now we can. And we needed to get through these ice blocks. So with that, we can go up here. And with that, we can jump and get this treasure, which is... Ginger Tom Salad. <laughs> okay, with that, we can actually take off this chest. I think now we should go to this one. It's the most far away from everything. And then, yeah, we just keep going. Uh, there's probably gonna be a few more missions that we can even do on Bergen Village. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, for now, I think just uh, trying to get all the treasures we could in from Bergen Trail, and we go. You know, we see what we can do from there. There's probably a few more missions that we can do as well. There was this cave that we couldn't enter, but now we probably can. Or no? Oh yeah, this was the ch the the cave that had ice blocks and we couldn't really enter. Okay, so the way we got there was by. Jumping here, right? I right, don't remember. I think we needed to go all the way up. Then we jump here, and then we jump down. And there we go. There's obviously a gold chest. We only unlocked the bronze chest right now, so this is going to be a little while before we get that one. That's fine. So yeah, we entered this, and there was all this ice, and we didn't really do much. But now we can enter. And that is Henry's Probe, so I guess we'll finish Henry's quest, which is pretty cool. We just go here and get it, Henry's Pro. Alright, with that, we should finish all of Henry's quests, and that should be it. Except there's a treasure over there. And now, this is actually a pretty cool treasure. I'm not sure if we can get there with a long jump. Oh, that's not how you do it. Um, maybe through here. Why am I pressing the wrong stuff? I don't. I don't think you can, but yeah, the way you do this treasure, actually, when I figured it out the first time, I, this is one of the, those chests that I'll never forget how to get them, because, <laughs> because, um, it's really cool. So, you actually need to use the ice blocks as a passageway, so I'm gonna get rid of that one specifically, and can we jump over there, please? Thank you. You actually need to use the ice blocks as a path so you can get on this side and get the chest. That's really cool. When I first figured it out, I was like, oh my god, I'm a genius. But yeah, that's how you do it. Um, and I always remember that chest, so there was no way I wasn't going to get it. So yeah, there we go. That's pretty much this, you know, this location. We got the chest, we got Henry's Probe. That's pretty much it for that. Then there's the Lofty Heights. We can go there next, I guess, which is a little bit to the north. So let's go ahead and go up there. Um, through here. And now we keep going up. We should, yeah. Through here I pretty much know how to get there. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna now go to the, the you know, that secret passage. We had some ice blocks we couldn't really do too much about. But now we can, we can you know, we can actually go. So we're gonna see what we can find over there. So over here, let's go ahead and see what we find here. So we got, what do we got this for though? So this is, um, I said comes back, but I don't understand why that is here. Huh. Okay, but here it's going to be a little bit more problematic. Okay, that was quite easy. <laughs> I just killed those two and came. Okay, that's pretty good. Pretty good. And, oh my god. Wait, look at this bunny. It sure looks different, don't you think? Do not do not tell me there actually was a legendary bunny. <laughs> Let us agree to never tell Gene, okay? Oh, man, I, I hate this part where we forget to tell Gene. There's actually a legendary bunny. He's right here. Not like you could anyway, I guess. Oh, sure, okay. Don't do it like that. So you get the Heaven Seed. And there's even some... It's really weird. We have some Kurodos, we have a legendary bunny, but 
He doesn't really attack us. It's a weird area, but we do get a chest. So we got... I want to actually check the item. We got a legendary seed. Um, right? We got something. We got a seed? But I don't really know. Seed, seed. Heaven seed. Oh. So a seed from an even ever greener tree that floats above the sky. Yeah, this part is really weird, but yeah, there's actually a legendary bunny. There it is. But it's kind of different than what Gene described, because Gene described, you know, he was all red and he fought or whatever. Uh, you know, this this bunny seems very non-hostile, so. I don't really know. Kind of a weird story, if you tell me, if you ask me, but oh well. Now we're done with the lofty hides. Also, this cave. Uh, let's go there if we can. If we can, we'll do it for later. Also, some Kurodos that we want to dodge. We do not want to mess with the Kurodos. They're pretty darn scary. Where's the... Wait, what? Should be around here. Oh, it's there, but it is blocked. Okay. And finally, there's this in the Icy Cauldron. Let's go over there uh, and check that out. Now that we have the, the heat element, we can actually go through the ice blocks that were blocking the way. Uh, to get there, we need to go up, right? We need to go through here. And then we need to go down here to unlock this. We go over here, we jump. And there we go. With that, we need to go down. Right, and then boom. So yeah, let's see what we can find here. There was a chest that we saw at least. Okay, so let's see. There's some pang pangs and a cane. Okay. So it is a silver chest. So this is actually a chest I haven't. I think you haven't seen yet. So this is a silver chest. We have bronze chest, silver chest, and gold chest. This is a silver chest. We still can't get it, so we're not gonna you know, too, do too much about it. But that's pretty much it as well. Like, there's not much else to do. I can get there though. You just go through here. Oh, when you go through here, through here, we go around a few trees, as well, a few plants. And just go around, go through here, go through here, and go there. Okay, let's enter this cave then. We are at the abandoned ground. We're actually a little bit away. Okay, wow. Got some ice, got another ch silver chest, oh boy. Um, so let's see, silver chest would be like here, I guess. And I have some more ice, probably a few more puzzles, huh? Oh. Can you go through here, I guess? Hello? Okay. Why would I go there? I can just go here, no? Oh wow, I just fell. Yeah, you know, the, the slippery ice is slippery. I'm pretty sure you can get there. And we can go up. There you go. I guess it's either just go do that, but... Okay, go here. Jump. Let's go to the left. Oh, I messed up, didn't I? Huh. Right. Because, oh, that's how you get the here, but do I get anything from going here? So if you don't destroy these two blocks, you can jump through here for one block, to the other block, and then jump over here. There doesn't seem to be anything, though. So I guess it's to get the silver chest, but there was a blue wall anyway, so I don't really get what you want to do over there. So I'll just go over here instead, if possible. <laughs> if I keep not messing it up, we can keep exploring this abandoned cave. Wait, abandoned cave? Abandoned ground. The abandoned cave is right over here. Somewhere. There we go. Boom. Can you do it? Don't fall, please. You already fell enough. Like, ah, it's so slippery. There we go. And then we can go over here. Okay. Right, let's go left. Oh boy. Why is that there? Oh god. Uh, 
Okay, so we got rid of the walls. Blue walls somewhere. There's some more though. Okay, let's go right now then. Oh yeah, this part is a little bit harder, I think. You need to jump while it's coming, so... Oh my god. Yeah, it's hard. So you need to jump basically when it's about to move. That's not easy to do, as you can see. And that's how you get to the other block. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, I got it. Okay. One more. Oh my god, I can't believe it. One more. Come on. Oh, that, that one's a hard one. I think I can just... No, I can't. I mean... Oh my god. And now I, I need to do it diagonally? Oh god, that sucks. Okay, I need to get in position. Oh, okay. There we go. We did it. <laughs> that was kind of hard, huh? We did it so we unlock the rest of these. Oh god. Okay, that was the wrong one. But we get through. And we have a lot of ping pangs. Oh, we get another boss fight, that's right. We get another boss fight. Let's see, this guy is Peng King Dakara. And he has 50% resistances, so he doesn't have anything. Um, he has no... What's the word? He has no weakness to fire, so I actually think I prefer to fight on the neutral mode. Because if you fight on the heat mode, we're 50% more... We, we take 50% more, more, more cold damage, right? So that's not very good. So yeah, this here, so this this is kind of weird. So basically it's just kind of singing, and there's some peng pangs on the field, and they kind of get boosts from that, and you kind of just need to delay this as much as possible until the Kara actually comes down to fight with himself. And he gives him boosts. He gives him, I don't remember what the boosts are exactly, but he has two or three different boosts. One is like glowing blue, one is glowing um, green. So I guess it's actually the elements. So one, he gives him like a boost to the elements, and on on cold element and the green one should be on the heat or on the wave element I mean they're just hitting him a lot and you still need to be careful but yeah mostly you just want to hit him here and kind of ignore the other ones if possible but yeah here he just kind of works as a normal peng peng I think there you go we got through the first checkpoint let's keep killing these peng pangs it can be quite annoying there's only one more Obviously, oh, always a lot of more of them will arrive. And now they're with the wave element, so wow, that's a lot of Peng Pangs. I don't have the best artwork as well, the best combat art, because I was an idiot and I forgot to turn it back. So, yeah, we're gonna get all of them throwing stuff at me permanently. I really need to take care of these Peng Pangs. At least until the car comes down. Can I kill you? Okay. He should be coming down now. Yeah, he should be mad. Take care of his friends. Okay. Damn, he hurt me there. I can hit him melee here. Oh, if I hit him with that... That thing... Oh, no, we're in trouble right now. We are in trouble. We're low HP. There's a lot of them. I, th I don't think I should heal until the car goes back up. He's almost dead. Oh. This is already over? Why did I thought it was three checkpoints? That was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay. So yeah, I recommend you use the neutral mode instead of the heat mode, because he doesn't have weakness to heat, right? So... Uh, there's no point in you going heat mode just to actually take more damage, if that makes sense. Because you're 50%, you're, you're gonna take 50% more cold uh, damage. So you get the broken shield, this is where you get the broken shield. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it for this location. You just come here to get the broken shield. Now, I need to go back to my circuit, because I was pretty lazy, and I forgot to change this back. So, let's switch into the good art. Um, there we go. And now, on the fire... Um... This was fine, actually. Right. That's pretty much it. 
You have a little bit more CP. I guess I could go into that. You have two points. You got even more throw art? Oh boy. Fire of... Oh, this is throw art. Ooh. So fire a powerful projectile with wide range, flying through enemies and back to you. This looks really cool. This is gonna be a second throw art, um, like, it's kind of a, an upgrade, right? So, learn how to use level 2 combat art in, in combat, so. We got to execute a level 2 combat art, need at least 3 CP, so we need 3 bars. You currently only have 1 blue bar, the 3 uh, purple bars is when we get through fighting, so by doing damage to opponents, we fill up this bar, these purple bars, and we can use a level, th you know, a level 2 with 3 bars. So perform the, com the combat art according to the type as usual. Charge for a longer time until you notice a second burst. So right now, as you can see, like we had four of them. The uh, four blue ones, right? So since it's this one is red, so we're using a level one combat art that requires one CP. But then the second one, as you can see, the second, I guess, boom that it does, it goes to three. This is a level two um, combat art. So then we release space as usual, and that looks amazing. Oh my god, let's try that. Oh, I can't. Right, we don't have the CP. Right. <laughs> We're not really fighting anything right now to actually try it. That looks sick as hell. Uh, with that, we can honestly just die because I'm an idiot. Okay. Yeah, let's just leave, honestly. And that was pretty fast, honestly. I thought it was going to take a little bit longer here. I don't remember the, you know, the car run to be that easy. Oh well. I guess you're too strong for now. Um, so I guess we should just leave now. Let's go through here and go through the, the ice blocks. This isn't easy, but you can actually space it, right? Oh, I fell. Kind of want to try it one more time, okay? If I miss, I'll just leave through the normal entrance, but kind of want to want to try one more time. Wow. I can't even get there to try again. Uh, this jump is really hard. I'm going to try to make it so I don't have to go all the way around because I'm lazy. There we go. And then just some... No! Thank you. Okay. I'll even move the heat now just so I don't screw it up. Yeah, you can make it there. Oh my god, I need to go through here, I guess. Okay, 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 okay. I jumped in the wrong direction, I need to go over there, so one more try. I'll just do it very quickly like that. Oh my god, I'm so... Yeah, it's a duck. Oh, we just got here, that's pretty good. Uh, okay, so we go this one, we go that one, and we go... Oh my god, I can't do it. Oh well, I tried. I don't know, I think that's the way though. Maybe I'm just really bad. But well. Yeah, it's only for that silver chest we can't even get. So with that, we're pretty much done with, you know, the icy cauldron in the cave. The abandoned ground, Peng Peng's den. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and go back to Bergen Village. Because we probably got a few new quests, maybe. So let's go into the Seeker Hub really quickly. You do have a lot of quests, so while reaching, I don't remember the level. Uh, you get to unlock the next the next set of quests in Bergen Trail. So obviously you have a lot of them, but you do have some uh, some stuff over here. Let's see. Hi, welcome back, Seeker. Oh, I see you have found everything we need. Yes, truly, this is great news. The entire town of Bergen is in your debt. Uh, here, take these humble rewards. You have earned them three times over. So you get you get a CP point, which is really cool. So now we should have, instead of two, we, ha we should have, uh, we, sh we should have one now because we had two, I used both of them and now we should have zero, but we got one. So we got one CP point, which is really cool. Um, we also have this quest finished. So there you are. Hi. You've been working on a little something here. Oh, I've been working. A fancy new hat. Now, don't you look at me like that. It's one with their modifiers. Makes it so you can increase your chance of loot by having a high combat rank. Ooh. Made it all by myself. Here, take it, sweetheart. sweetheart. Straw hat. You like it? Yeah. Glad to hear it. Alright, I'll be off now. Be good. And keep hitting those plans for me, will you? Okay, so let's see. I want to see the hat. So, equipment. It's this one. Um... Okay, like we get this 
But I don't know at which, at which point that should be more worth it than all these stats we're losing. 85 HP and 9 defense. Get a little more focus, a little more attack, but I don't know. I honestly don't like it. I will not use it. <laughs> Sorry. Let's see, we have other completed quests? No. Oh, we have this one. But, okay, let's go ahead and get some more quests. Uh, let's see what we have here. Bergen Digging Mates and Bergen Guard. Okay, let's do those two. <laughs> so, you should give me a new quest, let's see. Har, pleased to see you again, Seeker, and that warmth. You've conquered the temple mine and claimed the power of heat, eh? Well done, that could help us a lot with our current projects underground. Are you up for some mining work? There are explosives. You will love it. <laughs> so we have explosive debugging, a level 22 quest, or yeah, a nest of rock hard bugs has been penetrated by a mining shaft of the Bergen digging mates. Only explosive me measures can save this operation. Take the miner's elevator to the new mine one and talk to Daryl. <laughs> okay. I knew that you wouldn't want to miss out on a chance to handle some bombs. It's not all fun blasting, though. You'll need to clear out some rocks and also get rid of some damn resilient pets pests again. Yep, whatever you do on the track, those always tend to appear, but this time explosives should do the trick. Go through the door at the back and take the elevator down to the first underground floor to reach the mine. So yeah, I'm not sure if you know our usual episode is going to completely finish all of this. Miner Daryl will wait for you on the spot and fill you in on the details. Okay, so I think at first I want to complete Bergen Trail. There's a few more things we can do, right? So we're missing five treasures. One is here, that's two. We haven't entered this cave, so I kind of want to enter that cave and to do that cave. We need to go back to that, um, to that quest we saw on the Guard HQ. So let's go ahead and do that so we can actually enter that cave. And from there, you, you know, we're pretty much done with Bergen Trail. We're only missing a few things that, you know, can't really get. So let's go ahead and go down all the way. I gotta probably just went to the landmark, but whatever. Let's enter. Hello. Hi, hello Seeker. I have some good news for you, I suppose. We managed to find some hints towards the whereabouts of the imposter guard and his pet goat. So how about it? Are you up to even the score? So we have the goat father, level 22 quest, hints towards the hideout of the imposter guard and his goat kid have been found. Examine them and bring those criminals to justice. Examine Rising Path 4 in Bergen Trail and search for the hideout. Alright, so very good, you won't even have to walk very far. According to our information, their hideout should be on Rising Path 4 in Bergen Trail. Yep, it's pretty close to your last encounter, so go get them this time. Bye. So yeah, obviously this is gonna be on the cave, I already talked about it. As you can see, like Rising Path 4 is right here. So let's go to Rising Path 5, go below and enter that cave and see what is going on with that mysterious goat kidnapper. Okay, so how do, how do you get there? Through here, right? Wait, I'm not, I'm not in the right place. Oh, this is a different cave, right. Okay. Oh, this is the tiny goat. Enter the cave. Great. Let's go ahead and enter the cave then. Or not. Holy moly, what is this, huh? So we got a horny cave goat. Has 1337 HP, 90 attack, 84 defense, and 91 focus. It has minus 20 resistance to the heat element, so we're gonna actually probably use the heat. It actually has 20 resistance to the cold element and minus 20 to the shock element. So we did make him hit with the horn, so we can just attack it. It's very vulnerable and can just hit it and kill it. Very quickly, we're very strong right now, actually. We got another level up, level 23. Pretty good. And let's see. Explore the cave and search for the goat kid. Okay. So we need to defeat three, apparently. Three of these goats. Look at there. Oh god, they're crazy. Crazy cave goats. I need you to throw me your horn. Thank you. That should be... Oh, it hit me, but it's gone. Be good. So now we should explore this side of this cave. Okay, here's another one. I just need him to throw. There we go. Oh my god, the other one interrupted me. Hello? 
Okay, we got him. One more. Come on. You know you want to. There we go. Hit me. There we go. So with that, we finish all three. So we unlock this blue all, huh? All right, with that, let's go ahead and get these plants. I haven't checked the plants. We are probably missing some plants, but I'll do that once we're leaving the area. Okay, enter this new area. Of the cave. And let's see. Holy crap, they throw some bombs at us. Okay. Oh my god, he did it. Use it. I'll just... Oh my god, I can't use the bombs, can I? Oh, I can't. They kind of, they kind of exploded themselves. Okay, that's another way to break, I guess, instead of using the horns permanently. That should be a little bit easier to use than just waiting for them to, you know, do a certain action. Just throwing those horns. Holy moly. Pretty close to going. Okay. Okay, I guess we just need them to throw here. Okay, now we do this. We unlock this other blue wall. Okay. okay. Oh my god, it's so hard to hit it. <laughs> okay, we got it. That was such an awkward find. Okay. Um. There we go, we killed that. Oh. Oh. Um. Interesting. So, you need to do this, this. And that. Oh, okay. I can do that. Ricochet here. Hit that. Go here. Get this. Boom. Vanilla ice cream. Okay. I can go up. Okay. Who would have thought that you were the intruder? Can you not let a man and his goats live in peace? Leah. It seems you are wondering what all of this is. Yes, sir. Very well, let me explain. You see, goats have always struck me as majestic creatures that deserve a bigger place on this world. Thus, I used my knowledge of the track to help them enhance their minds and bodies. This stellar specimen you see here is my greatest creation. He has developed great intelligence and holds power over, over all the lesser goats that you fought. In fact, all of them are genetically based off of him, so you could call him the father of goats. Goat father, it's the name of the quest if you remember. He is indeed the pinnacle of all that is goat, and I am his master. Soon we shall trample the goatless masses and make the entire track ours. <laughs> Say all you want, it won't stop us, your meddling will end here and now. So you got some more horny cave goats here to... You know, keep us busy. And, uh... Okay, let's kill this one. Is this... Yeah, that is a hole. That kind of... Not very good beyond the middle, if you ask me. Did I really not hit it? Wow. Oh my god, I'm not playing very well. Okay, let's hit that one. Okay, good. Now let's use this opportunity to probably heal a little bit. Some, you know, sandwich. Pretty good. Now we're only with one, we can take our time. Or, you know, just get hit by everything like an idiot. <laughs> Another sandwich, make sure I'm healthy. Because I am playing badly. Come on. You know you want to. Put on me. There we go. That's three. Got some bombs now. Oh boy. Oh boy, the goat gets a... Oh my god, okay. Um... Okay. Okay, that was kind of easy. Okay, okay, that was easier than I thought. More goats! Great. Three of them now. 
can move the girl to stop. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna need a, a sandwich. Oh my god. Stop the bombs. Okay, there we go. Oof. Impressive, but what you just fought were just lowly hoof soldiers. More offshoots of what will become the source of my power once we rule this world. Now, Seeker, you will face the genuine article. <laughs> Excited goat noises. <laughs> Zyra? What? What is the meaning of this? And why are you looking at me like that? Is it I? It is I, your master. I created you and rewired your brain. My control is absolute. <laughs> I remember him doing that. <laughs> it's such a cool moment and you're like, what? what is happening, dude? Oh. So it uses a chest. Playful goid noises. Let me open the chest. Seeker! With this communication device, you should now understand me. Your intrusion in this place of goat provided the perfect distraction for that human. Thus, thus, oh my god, thus giving our youngest member the opportunity to disable the devices that controlled us. For this, you have our thanks. However, the blood of many of our herd is in your hands. We will forgive you this one time, but humanity's fate will depend on its behavior from here on out. Now be gone and leave us in peace. Bye. 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 <laughs> you little goat. So it seems that the ghosts, you know, can decide the fate of humanity now. And that, that was, it's such a weird story. It's sort of the weirdest quest in, in Bergen Trail for sure. Okay, with that, I think we can just leave. There's not much else to do here. We got the chest. Um, there you go. So, yeah, I think we're done. Can I just teleport out of here? I probably can. Um, let's go back to here. So we're currently at how many chests? 26, 27, 28. Uh, we're missing one? 27, 28. Maybe there's a quest or something. I don't really know. Let's go let's go search the other quest. Yeah, we're missing something other than the silver and gold chest. You got Trader's Den. Ooh, the Bergen Monastery. We need to do this one. This is really cool. Let's go. Let's go to Bergen Monastery and do that one first. There's other ones I really like to do. <laughs> Um, yeah. Let's go in and see. Talk to Nemu, or whatever her name is. Hello. Hi. Welcome back, Seeker. It is good to see you return to us. And I do feel a strong power within you. As if you have woven a connection to the ancients themselves. Yes, with this power of heat, you should be ready for the next step towards ascension. Will you face your next trial? We have Trial of Progression, a level 22 quest. Another trial waits to prove your connection with the track of the Ancients, or to the Ascension Spirits. This one will be served cold. Get Monk Isis attention at the Temple Mine entrance and talk to her. Okay. Yes, I thought as much. This fight inside of you is burning to confront the frost that rules these mountains. Go to the entrance to the mine. There you will find Monk Isi. We'll introduce you to the next trial, but know that her meditation on the ice tends to be very strong. You have to make yourself noticed. Okay. So you need to go to the entrance of the mine. Go ahead and do that then. Should we just go over here? So I'm guessing... Ah, sorry. So Izzy, hi. So she's meditating. What about if we just boom? <laughs> Make her fall. Hello? Seeker, what makes you disturb my meditation? Hi. 
A test from our leader, then you must be already be familiar with the cold very well. With that heated passion of yours, you might be up for the trial of progression. I will prepare an entrance. This teleporter will let you slip into the cave of your trial, brave the cold wrath of the mountain, and return with a sacred artifact from the end of the path. We did get something from the goat, though, like an item, one of the chests, which is- was it just to, like, understand them? Goat inter Interspecies Translator, yes, okay. So let's enter the ca another cave of progression, this time with the cold element, yeah, ooh. So let's see. This is a trial of fortitude and dexterity. To pass, you must reach the end of the icy path without falling into the darkness. Beware the slippery ground, for the track itself will test you with the element of this mountain, the cold. Along the way, you will be attacked by invincible guardians. Their shots will knock you away, but your shield can defend against them. There will be a, a checkpoint after each of the challenges. Leaving the cave will deactivate them again, though. So I guess this is going to do it. So, okay, let's see what we got to do here. So you need to go through all of these four checkpoints, it seems. Pretty. And we have the Guardian being annoying as always. And obviously now the slap, you know, the, the path is a little slippery, so it's going to be a bit harder. Um, oh, just that? And now I just got to wait. And that was the first checkpoint. Doesn't seem very hard. So you got another one over here. We need to go through ice. Okay, let's do that. Go over here, go over here, get rid of that, get rid of that, jump over, fell. Okay, I guess we just fell. Let's try again. Um, oh yeah, I'm doing this and we should be finishing Bergen Trail. Oh god. Um, I'll see if we have any more Bergen Trail quests after this. I just really like these types of uh, these types of quests, so we just gotta be patient here. Okay. So that, let's move on through here. Okay. He just fell. The slippery ice makes you go even, you know, the knockback makes it go a little bit bigger. What if you just go... Oh my god, that hits hard. Okay. Not the... Wow. That was not the easiest one this last, uh, you know, this last test. Let's see. There we go. And we can just move on. Boom. Oh boy. Oh my god. I think it's just easier to dodge, honestly. Holy moly, that's a lot. <laughs> I think we did it. Oh, we need a jump? Oh god, no. Go! Oh, we did it. We get the prog the progression proof. Okay, let's see, return to Monk Izzy. You are back, and you still haven't lost your fire. Very promising. Yes, this is the artifact that you were supposed to retrieve. You see, it symbolizes the omnipresence of winter that looms over both nature and all human creation. It also reminds us that life and determination can always persevere against the ice, just like you did. Now go back to our leader and leave me to my to meditate on the ice. Bye. Okay, so let's you know let's let's check. Uh, let's actually let's finish the quest. But let's check if there's anything for Bergen Trail. I don't remember. Um, I don't think so. Guess we'll have to take the quest and find out. But first, let's finish the quest we did. Um, right here. Let's talk to Nemu. Hello. Hi, welcome back. I already knew you were returning, Seeker. Indeed, your soul's heat could already be felt as you approach our gates. With this, you have reached another step towards true harmony with the track. Return to us as your connection to the elements expands and we will help you reach enlightenment. Bye. Right. Pretty cool. With that, let's go ahead and see the other quest we have. So we had one on the Trader's Den, which is here down. 
so let's see. Mrs. Summers, hi. Good day, Seeker. You have chosen a convenient time to pay me a visit. There has been a problem in the Hermit's House, a popular meeting place on Bergen Trail. Supposedly, their power generator has been malfunctioning and needs repair, so this is in Bergen Trail. Nice. For that purpose, they are in need of various materials from different locations. Would you schedule allow? Would your schedule allow for that kind of assistance? So you got Heating the Hermit, a level 22 quest. The heating system at the popular tavern Hermit's House in Bergen Trail has been damaged. Go there and help them out. Enter the Hermit's House at the Spine Kites on Bergen Trail and talk to the owner. Okay, let's do that. Very good, you can find the Hermit's House at the Spike Heights on Bergen Trail. Talk to the owner of the house for more details. Thank you, bye bye. So we do have one more quest on Bergen Trail, it's pretty cool. So let's go back to Bergen Trail and go back to the Hermit's House. And let's enter. So hello? Hi there fella, welcome to the Hermit's House. Hi. Ah, you have been sent by Mrs. Summers to help us with our broken generator. Man, we are getting worried. See, without that generator, this room will be pretty chilly soon, and what's the point of it then? I know, right? So we need someone, some materials to fix what, to fix that thing, and most of them are pretty far away. First of all, first off, refined metal. There are traders in Bergen who can refine it from cheaper metal with some other stuff. Next, we need metal gears from the Temple Mine, and some chunks of Bergen ice for the cooling. Uh, you should find that ice not far from here. Lastly, we need some fuel. The generator runs on arid lumber, which only grows in Maroon Valley. Yeah, it's quite a lot. Those generators sure aren't simple campfires. You got everything? Alright, hope to see you soon. B before we're all, we're all icicles in here. So, we obviously don't have the materials, because we still need to go to Maroon Valley, and we haven't went to Maroon Valley. So... Um, yeah, we're missing some stuff. Alright, I guess we can't do that yet. With that, let's go to... Let's just go back to... Bergen Village, and... There was one last quest that we weren't... We didn't really go to, so let's see that. Oh, we have another... Okay, I need to go back to Temple Mine Entrance, and then the Omni Gilder Base. I don't remember what that is. We need got we got to talk to Jean again. Pretty cool. Let's not talk, let's not tell her about the Legendary Bunny though. Let's see. Hi, hi, it is you again. You still feel a lot of respect for the ice, yes? Indeed, you should. Beating the trial does not mean that you are already a master of cold, but there are additional challenges for you that will give you even more insight into the nature of frost. So we got a challenge of progression, a level 24 quest. The Monk Izzy has given you two additional challenges to beat in the Cave of Progression. Solve the two additional challenges in the Cave of Progression, Time Challenge and Frosty Challenge. So this is another one for that same achievement where you need to do both at the same time. And you get uh, some weird sky. So we got, you know, do it under two minutes and then... Activate Extra Frosty. Okay. Good, the passage will be opened again. You turn here once you have solved those icy challenges. All right. So first of all, let's just do the timed one, and then we can do the extra frosty one. And then we can try to do both. So the way we do this is pretty much, you know, just go fast. Really, not much to do here, other than just go pretty fast and enter all four of them. Good. And we can just keep going. The extra frosty is definitely a lot harder, but well. So we just get rid of that ice, boom. Jump, jump. Oh my god, I almost fell. Okay, we're doing pretty well, I think. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Can't believe I just did that. Oh, we actually reached the checkpoint, that's really cool. So we still made it kind of to- oh my god, why am I so bad? Alright, this part is kind of hard, but we're only one minute in. We should be fine if I don't keep messing up. Good, that was pretty good. Jump here, and boom, alright. Okay. Dodging is a lot easier, honestly. 
There's a lot of them coming now, though. I just keep going round, and I'm good. <laughs> Alright, and jump! We did it. Okay, with that, let's go back to Bergen. Let's re-enter. Activate extra frosting. You feel a freezing chill. The density of the ice has increased. <laughs> okay. As you can see, there's it's a lot harder because, you know, there's more ice blocking your way and stuff. It's really annoying, but we're not really doing the time challenge for now. Um, obviously, we only need to do that for the Steam achievement. You can just, you know, take as long as you want. That worked out, actually. But for now, we just want to complete the challenge. Oh boy, extra frosty, everyone. Extra frosty. Okay, that's actually been pretty okay. Oh my god, one from behind hit me? I didn't see that. I guess if you still do it in under two minutes, we're doing the already the Steam achievement, so... Try to do that then, why not? Get rid of that one, jump, jump. Oh boy. But I keep going around so this doesn't hit me. Oh my god, again? But I got the oh, I didn't get the checkpoint this time. God damn it, why am I so bad at that final jump? Uh, now we can't do it under two minutes, unfortunately, but I have to come back. Go over here, boom, boom. Okay. Can we not be morons this time? <laughs> like, don't just don't jump correctly. Don't be lazy on the jump. Okay. Oh my god, I actually can't do it. <gasps> really bad. Alright. It is what it is. Let's uh, keep going. Try to just finish the challenge for now. What the hell happened there? What the hell happened? I just jumped? Oh my god, what happened? I don't, I don't actually- I actually am a little bit confused on what happened over there. But all. Yeah. <laughs> we're over two minutes, for sure. I definitely have the time to do it under two minutes, though. I just keep messing up. But- um, Okay, I'm just gonna restart. I'm doing really badly. Oh my god. Let's restart. Let's restart. Is it extra frosty? No. Okay, let's do it. Come on. We can do this. Okay. Oh my god, I almost fell. The slippery. Okay, we can go down, take our time, and do it. Okay, let's do this. Come on. 25 seconds in. We're pretty... We're getting pretty good at this. Just don't keep messing up. Just do things correctly. Come on. Pretty good. Oh my god, no! Uh, I, oh my god. I actually killed the, I, the ice cube before it could block that ball. Really. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Good. Come on. Struggling a little bit here. Go. Oh my god, please. Don't be an idiot. Come on. Don't be an idiot. Okay, we did it. One minute. Oh boy. I literally- I killed it again before you threw the projectile. Are you serious? Again? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, me, you gotta kinda, you know... Thank you. Okay. I think we still have time. 133, mm, I think we're a little bit too late. I thought it was over already, what is- oh my god, it's over. 
We're struggling a little bit here. I'm struggling a little bit here. Thank God. Come on. Okay, that was... <laughs> that was a little bit too optimistic, maybe. Okay, let's play good. Play well. Come on. Come on. God, I literally am so bad at this game. It's insane. Actually insane. Come on. Oh my god. What am I doing? Okay. Go over here and jump. Thank you. My god. I keep, I keep jumping too close to the... Oh my god. I, I keep jumping too close to the to the thing, and then I don't get enough, um, you know, boost to actually not fall because it's slippery. Okay, we're 30 seconds, can we find... Okay... Oh boy, this one. Very good, very, very good. Come on. Good. 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 Jump. Jump. Okay, we're in minute and ten. We definitely can do this. Okay, one. Oh my god, there's so many balls! I couldn't block all of them just by moving. I need to guard. Oh, it's over though. Okay, I'll give it one more try. After that, I, uh, I'm playing so bad today again. Oh, man. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Good. Okay, come on. Come on. Good. Go. Okay. There we go. Come on. 110. We can do it. Come on. Again in the last ball. All right. It's, it's, oh my god, we still have time. I'm going to go again. Come on, just guard the last ball at least. What are you doing me? Okay, come on. Come on. The slippery ice is killing me here. Okay, that works. Oh my god, come on. It's just one ball and I'm done. Like, actually. Still have time, come on. Come on, come on. Don't miss. 
very good. Oh my god, man! Like, ah! Oh. Actually, I'm so bad at this. So, ah, oh. I keep making the same idiotic mistakes and I can't do it. Well, now to actually reach in time. That was a good dodge, though. Holy crap. I need to go really fast. Fifteen. I don't think we have time. I need to go really fast here. I still don't think we had time, but let's go for it. Come on, just dodge it correctly. Come on. One, two, three, four. One more. Come on. Hurry, hurry, guardians. You don't have the time. Oh, you. Oh, we lost the team achievement. It's gone. Oh my god, is it? Woo, we did it! <laughs> we did it for the Steam achievement. Uh. Oh god, so bad at that. Uh. Once again, your passion has broken the ice. Impressive. With that, you have mastered even the most slippery of paths. I will now continue to connect with the ice. The path will remain open for you to do, to, to do the same if you wish. We got a Widget's Cades. Got level 24 from that, too. So, one level, one CP. 16 HP, one attack, one defense, one focus. So, let's see... Yeah, this is way worse. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, man, that was so hard. Let's get Jean's quest before I finish off the episode. Where is that really shady guild? Um, okay, so... It's like... Here? No. Here. No? Right here. This shady looking place too. Uh, let's see. Jean, hi. Oh, hi, Leah. You've come at just the right time. You see, I'm pretty new in this guild here. New members are mainly on duty for farming, trade items. But we also have to do chores. One of which was just given to me. Oh, it's nothing too hard for others, I guess. My job is to get a storage unit from the cellar to the right. But this thing is a maze, I will tell you. I couldn't find the thing, instead all I found were boxes and more boxes. I really tried to talk to Jock and Jeff, but I can't seem to find them. They are online, and I even tried this stupid direct link. No luck. Yeah, I wonder what they're up to. Anyway, I guess what I'm trying to ask is, would you help me find the storage unit? So we got Pushing Bases Level 22 quest. Jean asks you to help her find a storage unit in the basement of the Omni Guilders Guild. Uh, in Bergen Trail. Bergen Village. Find the storage unit in Bergen Omni Gilder's basement, storage unit number one. Get few experience, few cash, and level 20 disciple gloves. Thanks, Leah. I knew I could count on you. You can get to the cellar via the right door over there. Tell the quadro guard I sent you in the name of our guild. Apparently, that's how things work around here. Hopefully, you can find that stupid thing. I don't want to make a bad first impression here. Okay. So, I think that's... What is that? I think this is where we'll end off the episode already, around, you know, the usual hour mark. Um, obviously, we wasted a lot of time doing that. Oh, we can get this chest. <laughs> Mega sandwich times four. Cool. Forgot about that chest. Yeah, we can get that chest, which we can actually get a few more chests before we finish off the episode. There's like two more bronze chests we can get right now. There was one down here, pretty sure. Um, maybe you should go from above, I guess? We can get to the top of this house. Oh, we can enter this house? No, it looks like we can, though. Pretty sure we can get here, though. I don't know why we would want to, though. Are we getting an entrance? It's a really shady place. Um, you know, just random... A random house. On the other side, as well? Hmm. Oh, we need to jump for there to get here. I don't think there's anything, though. Okay, a lot 
of plants, so let's just get them. Yeah, another bronze chest. Metal gears times three. This one out of the way. There's one over there we can also get. And then this one is a gold chest we can't get. But we can get this one. Um, boom. And we get copper gold. Um... Legwork, bouncer. Oh, I like this one a little bit better. Okay. And that's pretty much it for today, I think. Next episode, we probably are going to be finishing all the quests here. So many, so many quests, right? I think that's what we'll do. And, uh, yeah. Still, there's no way to get to this girl. Or a dude, I don't know. It's way up there. It looks like you can, though. I don't know how. It looks so interesting that there's an NPC there always walking around. I'm kind of worried that there's, like, a quest or something. Or something, like, hidden. And we're not really finding what. What am I missing here? Oh my god, oh, let me try something. If you go back there without destroying ice, we can get to a certain position. Oh, it's still destroyed. I'm pretty sure he could have gotten here, though. It's probably there's nothing there, though. Okay. Well, I still kind of want to get into that house. I just don't know how... Or, like, up here. How do we get up there? There's, like, no path. Oh, it's, like, here, but it's no way to get there. Right? Oh, my God, there's a few paths... There's another chest. Did we find this chest? Um, where the hell are we? I didn't even see this chest. Um, it's like here, I guess. Let's try to... Let's try to get places. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, okay. So we can go over here. That's the only place we haven't really explored. That's a silver chest. But I want to get here. So we need to go... We can get there though. We can. We just... We know how to. Okay. Let's go there. This is interesting. Okay. So you need to do basically what we did that one episode where I was like here for like a little bit, like, I don't know, 15 minutes. And do all of that. It's gonna be hard getting there again, but. Okay. Come on. With that, I think we can do some interesting stuff. It's not an easy jump to do, though. Good. Good. And now we can jump here, right? Well... Oh, they don't let us. Alright. Oh, I can. So now we can jump down here. 
and just follow this little path. We still fall, it's fine, but we can follow this little path. Good. Keep going. Okay. Can I not go here? I just fell. Okay, what about if I jump here? If there's nothing, I just... Oh my god, I can't even go this way? It's, there's just nothing, really. There's no way. Oh, the... I think I bugged the game. Oh. What happened? I was like above. But I couldn't get to this area from there. It just bugged and, and killed me. Because if I could get here, I could go all the way here. And then I think it would be at a nice altitude for this. But... No. I just can't find a way to get here. And it's insane. It's it's making me frustrated a little bit. I do want to get there. I want to talk to that one NPC. Even if he doesn't talk to me, just the accomplishment of reaching that high of an altitude is really cool. But how? <laughs> how? How did he get there? I do not know. But actually, how do we get there? You know? Like, there's no path. I think this is too high for this. Oh no, it's not. It's actually the right altitude, but I can't get there. How do I get there? I can only get here. Doesn't help me, though. There's literally no other way in. Oh my god, this NPC is killing me. What are you, dude? Where... How do I get there? Yeah, well, I'm already, you know, as always, delaying the episode finale. I just like playing this game too much. But yeah, I think that's gonna be the end of today's episode. Next episode, we'll probably just continue doing Bergen Trail and Bergen Village quests and probably even move to Barun Valley next episode. Who knows? Yeah, that will be the end of today's episode. If you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.